the government has stepped up surveillance in Wajia County by creating an additional local administrative unit to deter infiltration of Al-Shabaab insurgents along the border of Kenya and Somalia, creation of the new Korof Ahrar sub-county and a deployment of more security forces in the area has boosted the confidence of residents in their local administration. Residents of Karsa, Konton, Kutulo, and Horoharar in Wajia East constituency in Wajia County know to well the bane of insecurity. Despite the threat of terror attacks, residents trek about 130 kilometers seeking government services. <laughs> But with the creation of Horov Harar sub-county hived off from Wajia East sub-county and the presence of a fully-fledged police post residence can now rest easy. Maisha ya wananchi wa kawaida imebadilika. Kwa sababu hapo mbeleni kulikuwa na shida, ilikuwa mali ambayo ilikuwa inaccessible kwa lugha ya kimombo. Lakini sasa, hakuna eh, shida hata kidogo. Wanaiji mea wanalala sasa bila usasa. Kena mama na waze. Lama tu korofarar mwiwe. Hiko kambi mbili, kasi yote yanaleti, bidi na kushirikana mwishumi yote, imbi misirishit kasi. Lamba. During the opening of Horof Harar administration offices funded by the Wajia East County Development Fund, Wajia County Commissioner Jacob Narengo said the government has tightened security along the porous Kenya-Somali border to contain intrusion of the Al-Shabaab militia. The uh, establishment of the sub-county goes a long way. Okay, in ensuring that we bring services closer to the people in this particular sub-county of Korofarar. Narengo urging residents to share critical information with authorities stationed at the newly created Horof Harar sub-county. They need to work closely with the security formations that the government has established along the borderline by sharing information, by ensuring that they volunteer information by ensuring that they don't entertain or embrace foreign elements within our border. They should be able Wajia East Member of Parliament Rashid Kasim expressed his commitment to cooperate with the security apparatus in the area to ensure security prevails. So I will make a firm commitment and I will use the resources that have been given to us, particularly through CDF, so that we can be able to meet its two critical functions, which is education and security. So we'll be able to collaborate with the county governments and county leadership so that we can be able to maintain law and order and support security in the region. Suleiman Yeri, Channel One News.